Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. It's time to learn how to use FaceTime handout to swipe. FaceTime calls between iPhone, iPad, and Mac. iOS 16, iPad OS 16, and Mac OS 13. Ventura has come up with a number of notable features, including the ability to use FaceTime handout to switch FaceTime calls between Apple devices. So just in case you are fond of FaceTime, you would love to get your hands on this pretty cool feature that can go a long way in enhancing your video calling experience. That's all being said, let's dive right in. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. It's worth pointing out that Handoff is a continuity feature that Apple launched in 2014 with iOS 8 and OS X Yosemite. It allows you to transfer your tasks between Apple devices. FaceTime makes the best use of Handoff to let you switch FaceTime calls between devices that are connected to the same Apple ID so you will no longer have to hang up your ongoing FaceTime call and start a new one if you ever wish to switch to other iDevice. To get started faster, make sure to set up FaceTime handoff on your iPhone, iPad and Mac. Ensure that your devices are connected to the same Apple ID. All of your Apple devices need to be connected to the same Apple ID. Go to Settings app on your iPhone and iPad and System Settings on your Mac and then select your profile and after that make sure that you are signed in with the same Apple ID. Besides, you should also ensure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are enabled both on your iPhone and Mac and if you are using iPad, make sure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are also enabled on your iPad. After that, make sure that handoff is enabled on all of your devices on your iPhone and iPad. Go to the settings app and then tap on general. After that, tap on airplay and handoff and make sure that handoff is turned on. On your Mac, head over to system settings and click general. After that, click airdrop and handoff and then make sure that the allow handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices option is enabled. Once you have gone through the setup, moving FaceTime calls between connected Apple devices becomes a pretty straightforward affair. First off, start or receive a FaceTime call on any of your devices. When you get close to other device, you will get a notification to move or switch the FaceTime call on this device. Now just hit the notification and you are good to go. That's all there is to it. So that's how you can use FaceTime handoff to switch FaceTime calls between Apple devices to enhance your video calling experience. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks today. Stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.